day 27 update. We're here in Font Sagrada, which means holy um, fountain in uh, on the Camino Primitivo. It's been cloudy all day, so we're in the clouds. Now, we're, it is pretty high up here, but this has been 20 uh, something kilometers of walking in no, no rain, but just cloudy the whole day. So that's been our, our uh, thing. I decided to go to the doctor because my arm has been slightly swollen for the last week and they sure know how to charge you 250 euros here in Spain anyway, but uh, nothing seems to be broken anyway, but I just thought I'd get it checked out uh, because uh, no no point in going around with it for too long. But uh, anyway, that's, that's our update. We've been, I don't have much video footage. I have a little bit, but I don't have much video footage to show with you today because literally, as you can see, it's been dense fog the whole day which is surreal now I have walked this way before so I do remember the time previous I walked it was very beautiful but today we had no rain it's 15 degrees it's cold and we're in a lovely albergue Cantabrico here in in Fonsagrada holy well here in Galicia and that's the only update we have so we're motoring along going slowly along it gets tiring the com i love walking but there's a certain level of walking after a month this pilgrimage you know it's it becomes a sacrifice it becomes a sacrifice ever getting up every day and preparing your your backpack and your mochila and walking and then going from one place to another but uh, I suppose that's that's the whole nature of a pilgrimage. So, um, and my son seems to be enjoying it more than I am this year, this time, which is quite amazing. I suppose teenagers they they get into the they they get into walking better than us elderly people that are getting older. I feel the age coming on. But uh, that's the update here from Fonsagrada. And tomorrow we're off to Ocadovo, and then. Uh, uh, two days later on to Lugo and that's our update. God bless you. Uh, we're doing this for Wells of Life. Uh, oh yeah, I have an update from you for Wells of Life. So yesterday I did an interview for the Christian channel in, in America and they mentioned, oh, did you not know there's this famous YouTuber, Mr. Beast on, on YouTube and he did a partnered with Wells of Life and he built 100 wells in um, in Uganda with the same charity that I'm raising money to build one well, right? So get this. And then I went back to, Chris, to Christopher and I said to Christopher, I said, what's the story about Mr. Beast, you know? And he says, do you not know who Mr. Beast is? I says, no, I don't know who Mr. Beast is. He's like this mega YouTube star. He has millions and millions and millions of followers. And I said, well, what's the story with the wells? Oh well, yeah, he did a video. I said, oh, how many views did the video get? Um, and it was like, um, I don't know, like uh, up in a million views or, or something crazy like that. I said, hold on a sec, or no, it was a couple of million views. I said, God, the, the ad revenue he got from one video, from one video, the ad revenue paid for a hundred wells in Uganda and nobody needed to donate a single euro to it. I said, like, I'm doing things the wrong way. I should just do a video that, you know, share this video and get it up to one million views and I won't be buying one well. I could give them 10, 20, 30 wells, you know. I, I, I'm just, I'm just wondering, you know, I, I'm clueless sometimes. But anyway, I do want to get one well dog this year. So you can, you can fund me on the links below or share this video and if it gets a couple of hundred thousand views we'll uh we'll you'll get more than one well done but anyway do support wells of life you know they're an amazing charity anyway that's our update for today from Fonsagrada here in uh in galicia it's still cloudy they had mass here in the chapel which is nice but it is it is cloudy Anyway, God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.
Galicia today. So the, the, now the kilometer marks are here and the, the scallop shell, while in Asturias was pointing the other way, now it's pointing in reverse. This is the minor things when you're entering from one province to the other. Now it says 166 kilometers here and this is our first entrance into Galicia, but we're walking to Lugo and then from Lugo we're going to take a bus, a rest day, to Villafranca del Bierzo, visit some friends and then walk on from Villafranca del Bierzo and cross Galicia again. So we're doing lots of different things. Sorry we can't show you any of the footage because it's completely clear. We're walking in the clouds today. Me, myself and my best friend Christopher, my son, is doing this video, best cameraman ever. Well, anyway, we just thought we'd keep you on our, uh, keep you updated on our Camino as we as we trek along this way to Santiago. God bless you. Take care.